Good evening to everybody. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to thank to everybody and who are sincerely practice of the meditation in this retreat and and also for the all the donors who are kindly supporting for the everyday for the food for the all the meditators, you know, daily dana as well. General friend, different kinds of support. No? We are sincerely very, very appreciated about that. Thanks a lot. And tomorrow is uh, the last day of the uh, The beginning, you all come here, we are full of happiness. Okay? We want to practice all the Dharma at Brahmavya Meditation Center. And then uh, with happiness, you come in here. And then since the first day, you all have been practicing and then trying so hard, uh, following the rules. And then very soon we have to end the retreat. And did the end of the retreat. I hope that you are all the way, you are having happy in this retreat now. And uh, the practice of the Dhamma is not that easy. You know, so everyone, after practicing, you might know that. How difficult to control our mind, okay? How difficult difficult to control the rules of the, the, the meditation retreat. Whatever we want to do, also we cannot follow our desire. We have to control and uh, do, do the practice, you know. Why we have to control? We want to get the good result from this retreat. We want to get the anti sotapa in this retreat. This is our intention to come here. So tomorrow when you go back, I hope that all of you are happy also, and that you are sotapa or not sotapa doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> not sotapa also must be happy. Okay, with the practice, daily practice, whatever you have done, then dana, sina, bawana. Yesterday also, the, the day also, I did mention to all of you how important for our practice for supporting energy by the practicing dana, everyone done that. Sila, everybody practice there every day, many days, about eight percent, ten percent, okay. We try our best to support ourselves our for our practice, you know, and also we have been supporting for the our our roommate and then we try to support each other. Uh, as well to the center, you all have been helping us to cleaning every day, have to tea, okay? Cleaning the center and then trunk kinds of support, you know? We are very, very sincerely appreciate about that, okay? There is very important that in the society, the unity and the understanding and meta in the society. Then only you will be very happy in this retreat, okay? If you don't, you don't feel for unity and always breaking the rules and always fighting to each other and complaining and then the retreat might not, not beautiful, you know. From the first day and at the end of the retreat, this year, very good, nobody complained. I didn't have any problem. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have any problem. I don't know, maybe we don't really open our office or no, you know. Nobody complain about the food. Nobody complain about the place, the room. Last time, always oh, the first a few days of the retreat. Oh, I don't want to stay with her together in one room. Why well, we want to change the room? Okay. Oh, the, we had to suffer a few days. We need to find the room to change. Who are suitable with who? You know. Yeah, it's also one one problem for us, but this year very good. No one complaining, okay? Everyone's perfect, okay? That's yes, also very beautiful things, no? And uh, so I hope that you are happy with your roommate in this this year, in this retreat, okay? Then if you are happy in the room, so you can come peacefully without anger to the meditation hall, okay? So when you arrive in the meditation hall, as soon as you arrive, you sit down and you look at the Buddha image, I hope that you are happy, okay? So when we look at the Buddha, oh, in front of Buddha, we want to practice meditation, you know? We want to learn the Dharma. It's also Buddha no city, you know? So every day, every sitting, you have done a lot of good karma. 
no. And then uh, we don't talk about jhana now, okay? Talk about a lot of wholesome you having accumulated. So you must be happy, you know? And the end of the retreat, oh, I haven't accumulated so many, so many good karma in this retreat. I'm so happy for that, okay? When you do good thing, you have wisdom, you know that roughly what you are doing, there is right thing to do or not right to do. And it is the most important thing in our life. Many people could not do that, no? They can learn the Dhamma and also to sometimes gathering in your country and then learning easier, you know. And the meditation routine like this, like in nearly one month, it's not easy to let go of family, not easy to let go of your business, job. And you stay, can come and practice day and night. From the early in the morning, four o'clock, you know, since here you all have been trying. And the evening and day and night, you know, so. You all have tried so much and so beautiful things, you know. So I'm trying to be happy with that. Understand? So who had the wisdom, wisdom kind of people only, they understand what I'm doing now, right there is good thing, good for our karma. This. And then that kind of chitana, the karma will support you. And then this accumulating all this good karma, in the future, next time when you go for the meditation retreat, Definitely very fast you will get the good result, you know. And in this retreat also, I hope that all of you are happy with your meditation result, you know. So then keep on trying at home also continuously, you know. Don't give up, you know. So practice continuously how much you can practice there. Like then the Buddha already explained, whoever wants to practice to be a sotapa, we need to understand the Four Noble Truth, okay. Everybody understand about that, the Four Noble Truth, okay. And the truth of the suffering, we need to understand why is the suffering, no? For us, we are human, no? For the human, the first day you arrive to the mother womb, the first day on we have to stay nine months, ten months in the mother womb. I don't think that's comfortable, you know. When you look at it, your past, you know, day by day, independent on the generation, we need to check that. So when you look at it, your, you will see your, po your position or your picture, how you live in your mother wombs, no? And not comfortable for you, no? The smell, no good inside, you know? You cannot breathe properly, then you have to live in there. This is suffering, when you look at it, only you remember. Then after that, you will realize, oh, our life, since the first time we arrived to the mother womb, and then uh, not comfortable, you know. Start, reverse start, and uh, suffering, the, you know? then that reverse start from the consciousness, okay? That consciousness transfer, that consciousness with karma, you know? Karma, link with the karma, okay? So then Kamaja Rupa arise with the consciousness together, understand? So what kind of consciousness with you, intention with you when you come to this life? In the past, you had intention that I want to be a human life, I want to go back to human life, I want to be a man, I want to be a woman life. Sure, you had that thought, you know, that is, uh, we call that uh, you know, ignorance, you know, wrong understanding for the, what I want to be and for the river, attachment for the river. In a sense, before you come here, before you come to this life, you had the thought. There is, the Buddha explained that there is wrong thought. Within the right thought. <laughs> because of within the right thought, we want to be in the past, you know? So when the Buddha explained, there is not right thought, wrong thought, wrong understanding for attachment, no? Attachment connecting with that wrong understanding. Attachment to be, I want to be a woman life, woman life, I want to be a man, to be a man. They keep on, keep on one this, one that, because of your, you want that intention, you know, that is, that's become not the effect. Just like you got human life. Man and woman have been, there is a karma is linked from the past life, not in this lifetime, okay? So the Buddha is saying that the cause of the suffering is from the past. We have been accumulating, you know, we are carrying on from that. So the Buddha wants to explain in this noble four, the four noble truth, the second noble truth, the dependent origination, okay? And the cause of the suffering, we need to find out. Then the cause of the suffering, if we understand, 
and do you understand now present why we are suffering now? The suffering present, suffering is the link with past life, the chitana. So we need to find out this way. So for this, we really need concentration. Without concentration, very difficult to look inside the mother womb, how you live the picture, they're difficult to catch. Imagination is not enough, no? Imagination is easy, but not easy, cannot last for, and also cannot be the truth. So we really need concentration to penetrate the cause to know what is this, what kind of the cause I have done, and not only the wrong view and the attachment, a wager, ignorance, attachment, craving, you no? Know? Clean for that kind of life. Not only that, we also did karma, you know? Karma in the past life. For this good life, we can say that human life, you know, very, very good life. Because we can learn the Dharma, and for the human, we have the, everybody have wisdom. Wisdom mind also included, you know? So because of that, we stay and can learn the Dharma. Without wisdom, like uh, animal, lower beings, like uh, the ghost, animal, and their mind thought process, they don't have a unity of their wisdom mind. That's why they couldn't learn the Dharma, understand? We are lucky we, we get a human life because we stay and can learn the Dharma by wisdom, understand? That's why the Buddha always encourage. We need to find out. And then what kind of karma we had done, Dana, Sila, Bhavana, okay? You all know already, okay? And sometimes you might have done very beautiful and very happily, then you might have done Dana, okay? Offering to the Sangha, or offering to the meditators, or offering to your parents, also. You may accumulate many good karma, you know? Not only the, the, the renounced people, or renounced people, you offer to your parents with happy feeling. And you want to take care of your parents with happy feeling, with good children, with good intention, that's ah, also very good karma. We met that somehow, okay? You love your parents, you want to take care of it, so because of your love, you know? And it has this children also, good intention. And it's beautiful mind, eh? we support you. Then dana, we accumulate, and then karma also sometimes, you know, to get a good life, good rebirth to the human for life, this life. Sometimes not only dana, sila, keeping a preset. Five preset, eight preset, you also might practice in the past life, okay? The kind of karma also can support in this life trying to get human life. And bhavana, meditation, in the past life you also might practice meditation. And meditation karma is the highest karma, okay? If you can remember about it, what kinds of meditation object, that is the best, very good. Understand? And then since uh, we are not need to try so many meditation objects, right, we, you can, it's, oh, silly, in the past life, I remember that I have been practicing Anapanasati, if you can explain that, oh, very easier for me, you know, to explain, oh, right, you practice Anapana. Sometimes some people practice Anapana long time, didn't improve, they get boring and upset. Then we encourage them to practice skeletal meditation, try a little bit other uh, other object of meditation. After changing our meditation, suitable with them, they, as soon as they think about skeleton, they feel very happy, you know. So this also, in the past, like you must meditate with asuba and also skeletal meditation. That's when you, now you think about the object is asuba or skeleton, you will be very, very, very happy feeling and suitable meditation object. Suitable and not suitable, how we can differentiate? When you think about anapana, think about breathing and our breathing, when you concentrate that, the breath very smooth, very easily you can feel, and you will be very happy with the breath. And as we can say that it is suitable for, your, for you, that meditation object is suitable for you. And trying so hard, you can't get concentrated, you don't feel happy, and you, don't, you are not satisfied, and you, in the end, you really hate it, this kind of meditation object, you don't want to be there. You don't want to practice continuously, that maybe we can check again. Maybe you are not suitable with this kind of meditation object. So then we will try to change other objects, okay? So different people have different character, different uh, hobby, and different meditation object also in the past. 
we are difficult to realize about that, you know. Only the Buddha could see your past life and already can tell you that what is kinds of meditation object is suitable for you. But anyway, from, from our experience, many of the meditators were very suitable with Anapanasati. When they practice with Anapanasati, very fast, they got the nimitta, they got the concentration. That's why we choose Anapanasati and they get the main meditation object for the many people. When you're really not satisfied or not successful only, we change about that, okay? So we, are, we need to observe about that, that we want to know the suffering originally. What kinds of suffering we ask now? So the Buddha has told that for the truth of the suffering, okay, we need to observe in our body. As so observing for our body, like just now, observing about our past, to know about the cause for this present. So because of the cause, now we have the present body. Since mother and until now, okay, growing, growing slowly, slowly. And then the one year, the age of one year, if you can remember, they're very good. And I cannot remember going up two years, five years, ten years, okay? When you are the age of ten years, what kinds of action with you, what kind of talk with you, and uh, when you're in the school, how what you are learning, and the kind of the, the memory you need to recall, okay? And then uh, you also need to learn that most of the time you have happy feeling or wholesome mind or unwholesome mind. Wholesome and unwholesome, we can differentiate, no? Many people already learn Abhidhamma also. Law based on the Greek, no? Loba, Dosa, Moha, we can say that. And uh, Aloba, Adosa, Amoha, okay? So that is part of it, okay? Then the great desire, the day I did explain to all of you, we all understand roughly our desire, what is desire, attachment. Since our young, Younger time, we have that kind of thought all the time. The desire, one day, one day, never stop, you know. For the education, we want to get the highest education, trying so hard, and then you want to lose, you know. So always you, you have been struggle and then study so high. And then for the business, also the same. You want to lose your business, you have to take care, you have to protect, you know in different ways, struggle so much and give so much time for your business to, do, to be successful. The power if you want to take care of your parents and your, if you, have, you are single, you want to take care of your parents and you have family, you also want to support for your family. And it is just because uh, there you have been stronger, stronger and then spend time and then sometimes successful, okay. And sometimes not successful, no, so anything and lose up, yeah, and then you get upset, worry and upset, and then you have so much worry for your business, so much worry for losing all your family. Someone, you know, from the COVID case, we learn a lot, very impermanence, no? We always learn that all oh, we can stay until the old age and our family can be together, you know? Our and our lifespan finish. We always thought about that in the past, you know. So after COVID, you really can see the drama, okay? So how much, even young age also, you know, younger people also, we could see that many people have died in all over the world, all over the world, you know. And it is really damaged. And then we could see, oh, we cannot wait. And then we cannot wait until the, 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 the lights been finished, you know. We are not sure, you know, when we can, we will die. True? We are not sure. Do you know when you will die? Nobody can say now, okay? So very unstable, uncertain, no? Tomorrow also can die, you know, so like, uh, and then it is stay, COVID-19 was stay going on, no, yes, stop. So everywhere you go, also dangerous, you know, <laughs> understand? not safe. So anytime also you can get the kind of disease, you know, so the virus is coming to you, dangerous. Not only in you, and can get to your, 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 your family also. So, and then you want to protect your family, okay? This all, you can see, very uncertain things, you know, impermanence thing. This is roughly we understand about the nature of um, impermanence in our life. Obviously, we can see, okay, from the, our eyes, 
environment, how we change in our environment, how we both die and come and go. Some people come into the human life today. Many people come into the in the hospital. You can see so many people come into the human life, and so many people also die today in the cemetery. <laughs> Understand? So we, if you don't look at it, you don't really see it. You think they all are stable. Uh, because of we stay here and meditate, we don't see When you go and look at the hospital, and you go and look at it in the, in the cemetery, and then we understand all oh, people are coming, some people are coming into the world. Some people are going out, you know, this, and distant or uh, depart from our, the world. You can see that. So that's roughly we understand about the change of the people. So we also analyze, we also re observe to ourselves this we call vipassana. For this vipassana, how to observe ourselves? We need concentration mind, okay? Concentration mind will help us to see clearly. Without concentration, it's very difficult to analyze. Roughly we understand it is this, when you stand in front of the mirror, you may see your eyes, ear, nose, stand the body. Roughly, you can see but the aura of your body. There is, we can see the rupa, there is our body. And the change of our body, after 10 years, after 40, 50 years old, you will start to see many changes, you know? Understand? Do you see your, uh, your changing in your life, changing all your life? Yeah, we can see the hair, white hair, you no know, brown hair, become white hair, okay? The skin, oh, many things are changing, 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 you know? So then we can see that unstable, roughly, roughly, okay? Many people can look at our, the nature of our changing of our body. When from the young age coming up to the growing, the aging, we can say that, okay, 60, 70 years old, slowly we grow, okay? So at the time, many changes happen, aging and sick. After aging, easily get sick. Many signs we have been coming up for us, you know, especially for me also, you know, coming to 60, you know? So we can see many signs, you know, so about suffering, you know? So the younger time, we don't really realize what's suffering in our body, you know? We thought that okay, happy, happy, enjoy, you know, <laughs> go where you want to go, we can go happily without suffering, you know. So very fast can go. Now, after 60, 70, quite difficult. We had to think already, this journey is suitable or not, I really can go or not, you know. So many things were, we had to realize that. So all the changing you can see in your life, you know. It is roughly we understand impermanent day by day are changing, you know. And then for the detailed practice, for the really we want to see the true other than the reality. Reality is meant wise. Now we can see the only changing of many years, only you can see it. After a few years, only you will analyze the changing of your your body, changing of your rupa, aging of your rupa. But with the concentration mind, when you penetrate inside eh, your body, every moment changing, you will see. The reality is we have to see the oh, impermanence of my rupa. Every second are changing, not only after one, two years. Within a few minutes time, we can see the changing of our body, changing of our rupa in six sense or everywhere of our body, all the time, every moment. That is what the Buddha wants us to look. If we cannot look like this, and then we cannot break down like anti ultimate reality, we always think that, oh, this is my eyes, my eyes, my ear, my nose, forever, my organs, attachment to our organs also, you know. So all we have attachment within our permanence, permanent, and you want to make it always to be younger and younger and younger, okay? True? True, and people tell you, you look getting old, are you happy? And you look young, you know, <laughs> younger, and I'm very happy, you know. Everybody want to be a forever young, no? So, but impermanence, you know, impossible, you know, cannot be a forever young, although how much you do in surgery, the time's right, where well, I guess you can see the aging, you know, cannot hide, you know. 
So then the Buddha explained to look clearly, no? not only our look inside. If you can see inside very fast, you can see clearly. Then only we understand every moment that you look at it, okay, now our eyes, you do have the four elements meditation to your eyes to break down. Then I have the four wine. And you, can't, you cannot see that your eyes, your eyes become many particles and come and go, come and go. This is the nature, you will see slowly. Oh my, this is not my eyes. A group of particles are rising and passing only. There is true understanding when arise to you. In the end, this is not my eyes, this is not my ear, this is only Rupa Klapa. And there is ultimate reality, the group of the Rupa. So we can realize again, you know, in this insight, and the Buddha is being differentiated. Many causes, you know, four causes of rupa in our eyes. Some are by karma, temperature, nutrient, and the mind producing rupa. So different kinds of rupa are arising and passing, arising and passing, always changing, you know. So we need to realize that, and we need to analyze that. Every rupa, what kinds of rupa, but we cannot catch every rupa. The nature of rupa are very fast, come and go, come and go, okay? So for this case, we need concentration mind to catch the rupa. If not, you cannot catch, you cannot penetrate inside rupa galapa because it's too fast and also too small, very, very small, very tender. That's why we need the concentration. That's why the Buddha is saying, if we want to practice for the Four Noble Truth, we must practice the noble eightfold part in this sutta, okay? The noble eightfold part is very important. They can divide three groups. Also the same, sila, samadhi, and panya, okay? And then we need to give the, the mind, purification of our mind to get the, the pure mind. And the pure mind will support to get stable mind. Then the stable mind is a concentration mind. So then, right speech, right thought, right action, this is for morality. Who took care many days you have been took care in this in this retreat. So you can feel after keeping the precept, the mind is so calm, so peaceful, you know. We don't want to torture people, we want to we want to be kind to the people. This is the effect. The effect, no? The cause and the effect. Because of daily practice of keeping the precept, the mind is so kind and so soft. That where we support that. When you want to do like anapanasati, going for the concentration practice, you have been done in this retreat, okay? And then right mindfulness, we need the mindfulness sati. Without sati, very difficult to get concentration. You all know about that? Sati to remember our meditation object all the time. Then after you got the, the mindfulness, then we also need to put effort. If you are lazy, cannot get good result, okay? Because of you have been putting a lot of diligently, you have been practicing on your meditation object, with the mindfulness, that's why you all can get concentration, okay? So the Buddha is saying also in this way, the Buddha told if you want to get concentration, the mindfully and diligently you have to practice, then you will be successful like this. So concentration mind is very beautiful mind, very quiet and very peaceful, you want, how long you want to concentrate on this object, you can stay there. The strong concentration we call absorption. The day I already explained, so I don't explain very detail, okay? So when you get a concentration, your mind is so peaceful, very calm. And also at the same time, because of that quiet mind, you don't think that, you should not think that wasting time. There is ability of your mind, eh? powerful mind will happen, you know? So the powerful man, like a microscope, you can enlarge your mind. You want to zoom in, how much you want to zoom in, you can zoom in. How much you want to think, you can think with a short time very clearly and very quickly the result will come to you. There is effect from concentration, you know. Understand? If you know, concentrate, without concentration, you want to focus, but the mind rests like mind. Everywhere your mind will go in, cannot focus on one object. And then, because I cannot focus one object, and you cannot get power, you know. Like, you know, the sun shine in the morning, all collecting in the solar. So there's power. Then become the power arise in that solar, you know, because of all sun, sunshine, the energy, it all zoom in. 
they collect it, they become powerful and can on the electricity, can use and shower, you know. That is the way, and the same as that. Our mind also the same. Our mind is restless and go everywhere, cannot focus, you know, cannot think properly what it is even. If you are looking, looking, if you are not concentrating to the flower, if you are not really focused, although you are looking, you don't know what it is, what is the effect, what is the beneficial from that flower. Understand? So that's why the Buddha told that if you really want to absorb inside, we need like microscope, the power of microscope. Can, and you can enlarge and you can zoom in, you can stay with it. There is concentration power. So that, that's why the Buddha is waiting for the second group. It's for the right concentration. But the right concentration, we know already, we have been practicing, you all have been practicing for many days. Take care of your mind many days. Then the next step, after you get the concentration, we have to practice vipassana, okay? For the vipassana, we call the inside knowledge. Very important. Why we need that? Why we need? Because we want to understand the truth in the detail in our body. I study just now, I did mention that. This is vipassana session. So study analyzing inside of our body, the nature of our body, just now I did mention that. And you have concentration mind, you can focus everywhere on your body. And searching the Dharma is inside your body, don't go too far, you know? Don't search too far. You just look at it inside with concentration mind. So you will see all the Dharma is coming up for you. The true thing will happen to you. How we can see, the first day you can observe the 32 part of body inside if you have concentration mind, okay? 32 part of body, everybody understand that, you know, inside. We had the, the first one, the hair, hair, the body hair, okay? The neck, the teeth, and the different skin, the skin, and different kinds of organs inside we have that, okay? Like urine, blood, liquids, you know, so the, all the 32 part of body. So now if you want to penetrate, very difficult to see. Outside, okay, you can see. But inside, very difficult. Even imagine also very difficult. Imagination not enough, you know. Then slowly, slowly, you use your concentration mind. Okay, you have concentration mind, doing absorption, and making your mind to get very stable, very peaceful. After you get a concentration mind, you're trying to observe, observation inside our body, okay? One by one, you search and look until you very clearly see it. So after you see what the, okay, I want to see my hair, hair, you're trying to concentrate on your head. Then after for a while, you will see, I want a group of hair or a few hair will appear to you. Then you just think that, make it stable. Keep on thinking that in your mind that this is the hair, 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 hair. Then until you feel familiar with this object, after that you contemplate that there is reflexiveness of to our body. Nobody like it, you know. So then uh, you just think that all oh, repulses now of my body, the hair, hair, okay? After contemplating for a while, you can switch. If you want to practice until you get a, and the first jhana also, okay, every 32 part of body you concentrate, you also can practice and you get concentration, okay? And then after that, you want, uh, for, you, for us, you, uh, we want you to do quickly so that after you are successful with the hair, hair, you can go the body hair also, then the one by one. You're trying to make it clear, every part of body. After clear, you think about repulses now our body, repulses now our body. Then after that, move again to another. So anti the skeleton, 32 part of body. Understand? Understand? <laughs> okay. So after you got a 32 part of body, after clear, and then you're trying to observe the reality of my body inside a while, oh, only 32 parts of body, very dirty, you know. Every part of body are very smelly, very dirty. Then uh, how? Not only us, other people are also the same, okay? Everybody has, who had 32 parts of body, the same thing where right? all look is okay, but when you chest, open your chest and everything, you look at it inside, through of blood and urine and plant and so many very dirty, you know. So I don't think so you will love it, you know. Understand? 
So if you have attachment to your family too much, keep on worry, worry, worry. Your beloved thing about that, okay? Oh, they are 32 power only, okay? Okay? And me also 32 power, they also 32 power, my children, my wife, my, my husband, all are 32 power born, nothing special. Then after that, the first time, after you see for everyone 32 power, and you can differentiate, there is no man, no woman. Understand? No man, no woman, only organs, organs, organs are there, no? Then after that, the next step, skeleton, 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 okay? Just choose the skeleton, okay? Beautiful? A skeleton is beautiful or not beautiful? Praise answer. <laughs> skeleton, beautiful or not beautiful? Yeah, so try to think that everybody is skeleton, skeleton here, okay? So then when you go home, also think about skeleton, skeleton. For us also, when we were traveling to the different places at the airport, we said, after for a while, we are looking to the many people, and you can also meditate. And no need to do deep jhana, okay? Just contemplate them. So whoever walk in front of you, Ah, skeleton and walking you know, in front of me. The skeleton, skeleton, you cannot see men or women. All are skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Then after for a while, just sit down and think about your own skeleton, you know. And uh, I'm a skeleton, skeleton is sitting. Uh, people thought that we are sleepy, you know. But we just sit down and think about, oh, I'm a skeleton. Just enjoy with your skeleton. You know, enjoy. Ah, oh, watch and they're so happy. And so happy with our own meditation object. You can meditate everywhere. Just simple objects. That's why we need to learn more, more object of meditation object. And then only everywhere you go, you can contemplate, you can realize Dhamma. And then uh, on the way, all the way from Mimio to going to the airport tomorrow, few people, eh? and some people were going back. So you just concentrate on your body and think about I'm a skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. It's a, in the car, can meditate also. Just imagine, no? So then after imagination, then slowly the picture will clear and clear. And then it's meditation object. So you deal with Dharma object all the way. Safe journey as well the wholesome mind with Dharma object with you all the way. In this way, you know, so we practice that. Not only 32 part of body, after we penetrate again in detail. Like just now we did that, eh? breaking down the whole body, every part of body, all the 32 part of body. We break down by informal meditation, then we differentiate it. Different kinds of rupa in our eyes, ear, nose, tongue, and body, and all the organs are the same. In the beginning, we concentrate only six sense door. Then we see about the rupa, the nature of rupa arising and passing, contemplating all oh, impermanent suffering, non say Because of that rupa, I have to suffer all the time, you know? The aging happened because of that rupa process, you know? So in rupa, it's always process, growing, 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 never stop. Then we will also will never stop, you know? And then we are how old, we don't know, you know? Same as uh, the rupa also the same. The rupa also because of attachment. We have been keep on accumulating in our mind. We want to get this process of our body. And one rupa, another rupa, another non-stop. Because of the desire I want to get it, there is suffering, you know. So then slowly, slowly, after we see for many times of rupa, the nature, then you don't like it in the end slowly. You don't want to get the kind of rupa again, again. You don't want to get the kind of rupa again, again. You will start to feel always suffering, suffering in this lifetime. And every moment, after see about destroying, also when people dislike feeling on yourself, not attached, not need to attach too much, and we don't feel that this body is good for, you know. Only practice of meditation, okay, you know. That's one we need to understand truly. Not only that, and then say, for the deeper practice, and for the normal people, if you we want to get simple, and you can practice in our body, think about the nature of nama, rupa. Rupa is just now we did explain the different kinds of rupa in 32 power body. Break down all the rupa clapper and see, differentiate also what kinds of karma, what kinds of the cause in this organs, you know, so how many types of rupa in this organ. Then after that, we're trying to realize again about the thought process, okay? 
the thought process attachment on our sixth sense door, okay? Understand? We love our eyes, particular is later, okay? So we also need to see and the particular. So we can some, sometimes get attachment. Loma, okay, greed to ourselves. We love ourselves. Attachment and worry. And the time, what kinds of mind we ask, we need to check. Arising and passing on the thought process, there is very detailed, you know? So we just, uh, today, uh, roughly for understand, we don't go very detailed, you know? So roughly we understand, desire, agree, desire happen. Relative, we agree, so we got the thought process will happen by looking by the eyes, contact with external object. Understand? So the after contact, external object and your eyes, rupa, contact, we had the eye consciousness. The eye consciousness from that, the mind will happen, okay? Wholesome, the feeling will happen. Sometimes happy, sometimes unhappy. Everyone had that, okay, feeling. So happy, Greek also sometimes can be happy. Akusala also can be happy, okay? So we have to differentiate. Every man, for the meditator, every moment, what kinds of mind me now? Kusala or akusala? Wholesome or unwholesome, okay? We need to check that. Understand? Understand? <laughs> so at home also, when you go back home also, we need to practice. Not only just meditation, you know. Always we need to observe our mind. My mind has wholesome or unwholesome. Unwholesome, dangerous. The day I did explain that, okay? Loba dosa moha, then we know already not free, okay? And then jealousy, you know, restless mind, and doubt, all are and, and unwholesome, you know? So the kind of mind it happens, we have to stop. We don't want to carry on. And it's carry on, carry on. Even one minute you are unwholesome in the thought process, dangerous for our future. Because one thought process is the day I did is very okay, the cause and effect of karma. If the karma is strong, jitana is strong, the effect will happen to you, the result will sure will happen. Whatever you don't you think and then the thought, the the speech and action. If it's not right or unwholesome, relative with unwholesome thought, dangerous, the effect definitely will come into you. Whatever you do, good thought, speech, and action, the effect also will come into you. Many people say, oh, doesn't matter, short time I think about that, you know, then can be recovered, you might think that, you know. And then nowadays, worse, many people didn't like to realize about karma, you know. And then breaking the Tele line easily can tie a line, and they think that tele line is okay, just comes and goes, you know. But they didn't realize what karma, you know, because of that. Many people are easily they didn't scared about future revert. That's why they didn't really like to do bad things, bad thought, bad speech, you know. So for the meditators, we have to protect. We don't want to follow and wholesome. We don't want to think about any back to the any, any other other people, you know. We don't want to look with bad intention to any other people. We want to look, try, train with metta and compassion and with wisdom. Then so the unity, okay? So you can see whoever look at each other with metta and like a family, see you see from the first day and the until today, very beautiful without quarreling so many people, over 100 people in this small place, you know, we can stay together with happy feeling, with metta, all are because of we learn the Dharma. If we don't know about Dharma, if we don't never learn about the Dharma, we don't do care our mind, we don't care our karma, you know. Simply, little bit thing, you will complain and you will violence and you will, you know, and a quarrel in the room, you know, <laughs> understand? That because we learn the Dharma, this is no good for us to quarrel, this place is not suitable for us to jealous and not support to, not support to do with any uh, un, 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 unwholesome speech or action, we understand. That's why we control our mind. The speech and action by the mind, okay, thought process, because uh, you have, you have sati. The mindfulness have control your mind, not to think, not to speak, not to do. 
Yeah, it's this way, you know. Because of that, where we can stay very peacefully here, very happily. I look at all of you also, I'm very happy, you know. I don't know about the food you can eat or not, you know, but we, we already try our best. We are a villager, you know, here, not like a city, you know, so we also try our best, you know, if everything is uh, inconvenient, please forgive us, you no? Know? So that's we so we are so happy to take care of you from our heart sincerely, you know. So that's why I'm also gratitude that I'm for me from my side, every day, day by day, I'm happy with all of you and I also always with with good intention to support to all of you. And then then it is uh, the main I want to tell that why I I have feeling in this retreat. I hope that all of you also, and trying to think from this retreat, oh, we have done a lot of wholesome. I didn't have any unwholesome thought. If you had done bad thought, speech, or action, and please ask forgiveness to each other before go home, okay? If you quarrel with your roommate, <laughs> don't bring back until home, okay? Don't bring back home with this anger, okay? Trying to Remove your anger, not to get angry, don't to make an enemy. Must have good friend and good relationship, okay? Here are really international group, uh -huh. not only in one country, in one country in this place, okay? You can see from different countries, you know, uh, so Myanmar, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and uh, Taiwan, <laughs> India, Vietnam, okay, and Japan. America, ah, so many, so many. And there are also Sri Lanka, so many people from different countries are joining together here. If I miss country, sorry. Ah. So we have been joining together here, you know, so happily, you know. So that's it. As without problem, we can stay like that. That is the powerful, powerful. Dharma protect us, you know, because of your had Dharma knowledge. So you're thinking, oh, this is a holy place. We have to try our mind to be a wholesome, and wholesome kind. Of, no, we don't want. We want to stop. We want to think about dharma object. We want to be with dharma. We were trying, although pain, my leg pain. Oh no, I were trying to seek the whole city. Although pain, you are you having trying struggle so much. Didn't care about the pain or uh, didn't. See the suffering because uh, you want the Dharma. If I try that, sure, I can get Nimitta, I can get concentration. If I don't try that, I'm not easy to get. So that is beautiful mind with you, you know? Struggle so much. Although cannot get good result, doesn't matter. I will stay trying. This is the way it's beautiful thing, you know, you have done. That's why I feel very admire to all of you also. Every city you come, and practice on time, you know. So that's the way. I just want to encourage to all of you carry on with this practice at home also continuously until we really understand and the very teacher understand the Vipassana. So who understand about Vipassana only in the end we don't like this kind of rupa again game of attachment on our river. Then we want to stop with the river. We want to let go with attachment to the next river. Then only we will be free from suffering. If not, whoever had the river, sure we have to suffer, suffer. No, Buddha already explained. The five angry gate, the, the five angry gate are suffering, okay? The suffering caused by the mind, attachment. But in the end, this Namarupa, also there is the effect <laughs> happen. The cause and effect always happen, no? So I want, in the future, we will practice, I would like to practice with all of you again. And we always welcome to all of you to hear, no? If we have opportunity. But future are very typical, no? That's why present are very important for us for the future, you know? So every day, trying to practice continuously, no? Thank you very much for your patience. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.